Hey, it's Kevin. Thanks for coming by for another Road Warrior video. You know, I'm one of those kind of people, I don't know if you are too, that just gets driven crazy by the teeny tiny little things that probably you're the only one who notices. You'd have to go to the podcast to get the whole story. I'm not going to waste your time with it, but I've got a little, a little burn mark on my face right here. Uh, you can barely see it in this because of the way the camera sits, but it's not too big a deal. But I've been putting off doing the Road Warrior videos to the absolute last minute because it was a big, huge, ugly scab, scar, just nasty looking red thing on my face for a long time. I still got a little bit of the red to it, but it's not as bad as it was a week ago. And it's one of those little things that doesn't really matter. Are you looking at these videos because I'm beautiful? Are you looking at these videos because, you know, it, it's great TV or great video or anything like that? No, you're not. It's a fat guy driving down the road in a car wearing a very boring white t-shirt. It, it's not that big a deal, but it's those little things that I always want to do well with. Same thing with my house. It's the little teeny tiny things, a speck in the carpet, the way the carpet isn't finished right, the way some wood doesn't join together. Now, it's not my house, I'm only renting, but even when I own my own house, it's still those little things that drove me crazy throughout my life. And I guess that's just the details, that's the nitpicky way I am. Some will say it's an attention to detail thing. Some will say that's a good thing. Well, others will tell you it's a bad thing. I don't know which is right, I don't know which is wrong, but I've always been one of those people who well, really try to mind those teeny tiny little details. And I like to surround myself with people who like to mind those details too. I don't like to be the only one around who's the detail-oriented guy, who's always looking at the what-ifs. When I ran radio stations for all those years, that was my one detail, is I always said, okay, what's the worst case scenario? If we can plan to make sure to get through the worst case scenario, we're gonna be okay. Now we've also got a plan for the best case scenario. So you're actually having to put together almost like two plans. What's, what's good, what's bad, you gotta have it all put together. And it used to drive people crazy. But thankfully, we were always very successful and always fell, well, some, somewhere in between. Very rarely did we ever have to worry about the worst case scenario. And so I think it's those little teeny tiny things, those little details, again, that make all the difference in the world. Yeah, it started out being about my face, but it's about a whole lot more. It's just about the way I look at life. It's just the way I, I go through life. And I guess depending on how you look at it, that's a good thing and a bad thing back next week another road warrior video kevinmason.us the place where you find all the road warrior videos also youtube also facebook i don't care about privacy hell let everybody find them back next week another road warrior thanks